five signs you are being gang stalked. You are watching this video because you believe you are being followed, stalked and harassed by a large number of people. Most stalking occurs between people who know each other. Four out of five stalking victims are women. Stalking involves a persistent course of behavior and conduct where they are constantly trying to manage and direct you against your will. Where they are monitoring and supervising you and trying to lead or guide you into a particular place which will be unfavorable for you. So in a lot of ways they are trying to set you up. They are deliberately making arrangements to make an innocent person appear guilty of something. They are fabricating evidence against you. They are falsely incriminating you. They are trying to frame you because they want to entrap you. They want to trick you into committing a crime in order to secure their prosecution. What drew them to you is your good qualities. That is what made you stand out amongst the crowd. Otherwise they would never have noticed you. You would have become lost in this endless sea of people. Because you have to remember that there are billions of people in this world. And there are potentially millions or billions of other people who have done far worse things than what you're meant to have done. Because that's typically the underlying support and foundation for their ideas, arguments and process. It's that you're bad, crazy or wrong. Something is not right with you and you need to be taught a lesson. Or you need to be under constant surveillance because you're meant to be a very dangerous person. Which doesn't add up. It doesn't make any sense. Because if you were so bad, the last thing they would do is try to provoke you. Which confirms the reality that they would never target a dangerous person. They would never willingly put themselves in a situation where they would be at risk of danger or harm. Which is why they're covert, they're cowards. So they target people who are innocent and naive. People who lack wisdom, experience and knowledge. People who can't even see that there's nothing actually wrong with them. People who will question themselves. People who won't fight back because they're looking for an easy target. But also someone that they are secretly envious and jealous of. Someone who they can control. In some situations they may have believed that something was not right about you. But then they got more than what they bargained for. They got something different than what they expected. They thought that they were targeting someone who is beneath them. Someone who is worse than them. And then they later discovered that they were dealing with someone who is a better person than they will ever be. Which triggered them to reflect on their own insecurities. And made them become even more aggressive towards you. You will know when people are thinking in this way about you. Because they will instantly become very competitive and they will try to target your self esteem. So this is typically how it happens. This is why these types of people will target you. And you need to recognize that it actually has very little to do with you. It stems from their own insecurities and deficiencies. Their lack of love and care for themselves. Although they may act like you're a danger or a threat to that. But they never actually take the time to do what needs to be done. To make themselves and their community a better place. Instead they choose to focus on you because it's easier for them. They don't want to do the work. 
They'd rather just point the finger and blame you as a distraction from the consequences of their own behavior. With that being said, here are five signs that you are being gang stalked. One, you will experience constant irritation and annoyance. Gang stalkers will find and identify you with great accuracy and precision. They will detect and locate you. They will distinguish you from other people. And they will never tell you the real reasons why you're being targeted. But it actually has very little to do with what they've led you to believe. They're actually very envious and jealous of you. And they understand that you are a person who cares about their image and appearance. So they have to go against it. They have to go in the opposite direction. To target your sense of pride and your consciousness of your own dignity. Because that's one of the main things that irritates them the most. They're trying to see you as this bad, crazy, dangerous person. And yet many of you don't even see yourselves in that way. You may see yourself as someone who is very innocent and harmless. Someone who just wants to keep the peace and get along. And your reality and sense of self is very strong. So they have to try to break you and deny you of the things that you need. The things that would otherwise strengthen and confirm the person that you actually are. Which is why they will intentionally deny you of any peace or solitude. Because that is what makes you. It's what reinforces your character and identity. But at the same time they will also deny you of any real social interaction because that validates you as well. When people confirm that you are who you say you are. The reality is that when people are unable to experience that for a long period of time. In time they may even begin to reject themselves. They may even go insane because they won't even know who they are. Unless they have a very strong sense of self or they have some other source of validation which is causing them to continue on this course even while their entire community is telling them there's something they're not. Because the reality is that if you're told that you are something for a long enough amount of time you will eventually become that. You will eventually break down and begin to accept another person's reality as your own. Unless there is a superior force or authority that is causing you to believe something different. Because what this all comes down to is your beliefs about yourself. They want you to change how you see yourself. Which is why you will experience constant irritation and annoyance. Because you just want to be you. But they don't want you to be you. Because you're defying the odds. And you're causing their reality to crumble. You're making them look bad and they feel bad because of it. So they have to force their interpretations upon you. So that you begin to accept their reality as your own. And then they can feel more comfortable around you. They can feel more comfortable by making you uncomfortable. Which is why you may notice that whenever you feel unease or awkwardness, they actually enjoy it. They want you to feel confused. They want you to second guess yourself. They want you to doubt your own reality. Your own memory, perception and sanity. Because then they can tell you what is right or wrong. When in fact you already knew what is right or wrong all along. And they already know that if you were given the opportunity, you would destroy them with logic and rationality. Which is why they have to keep everything under wraps. Because yes, they already know that they're wrong. And they already know that what they're doing is wrong. They may see themselves as victims. But they also know that the end does not justify the means. They know that their decisions, actions and ideas are not reasonable or necessary. But they have an inability to regulate their own emotions. And they also have a lot of skeletons in their closet. 
so they have no other choice but to continue with this course of action. Two, online harassment. If you are being gang stalked, you will experience online harassment, which is the use of information and communication technologies by a group to repeatedly cause harm to you. To bully, threaten, or maliciously embarrass you. This may also include unwanted or unwelcome sexual advances, expressions of romantic or sexual interest that are unreciprocated, unpleasant and offensive, even after you have already made it clear to them that you do not desire any further contact or engagement. But they will still proceed and push past any clear signs of avoidance or rejection because they have these fantasies inside their minds and you are unknowingly playing a role in this fantasy even without any active participation or involvement because they need the fantasy to continue. They can't live without it. They depend on it for their sanity and sense of self. It makes them feel sane and normal as long as they can get you to react or respond. But if they can't even get you to do that, they will monitor you 24 hours a day and they will zone in on anything that you post. If they have access to you in person, they will monitor your facial expressions, body language and tone of voice. They will micromanage you in the hopes that they will find even a morsel of interest to tell them that they're still relevant and important because they want you to show signs of interest. They want you to be involved. They will reduce and condense you and control every part of you however small in the hopes that they will be able to squeeze something out of you so that they can eventually mold you into who they want you to be for them. Even while in this entire process, you may actually feel very uncomfortable about it to the point where you become disagreeable. You become tense, edgy and restless because you don't want it. So it will begin to worry you. Because this will only make them even more interested in you to where they're highlighting everything about you. They're paying special attention to you because they just can't accept that you don't want them and you don't stand for what they stand for. You may desire those same advances from someone else but just not from them. And they can't accept that because they're only thinking about themselves. They're not looking to share an interaction or reciprocate anything back to you. So it's never going to be something that you want unless they're able to trick you. Which is why they invest so much of their time into studying you. Because they already understand that it's the only way they're going to have a way in. By misleading you and making you believe there's something that they're not. But if you catch on it will make you very uncomfortable and you will do everything in your power to try to resist them because you already know it's not going to make your life better. You already know it's not going to lead you anywhere good. You know that if you give them power and control of your life, it's going to be very unfavorable for you. And you may have learned that based on something you experienced with them or from something you experienced in the past. But you already know it's not going to do you any good. So whenever you're around them, you will still resist it. Even though at times it may be tempting. Even though they may have broken you down and you may react differently to how you used to. In the back of your mind, you know you don't really want it. Because you know that it's unwise. And they know it. They sense it. Which is why the show must go on because they just can't accept that you're never going to give in. You're never going to be who they want you to be. You're always going to desire something real. 
And even though you may accept certain things at times, you're never going to feel fulfilled. You're always going to want something different or something more until you finally get what you want. But until that point, you're never going to conform, at least not on your own will. Because you understand that you came here with a purpose. You understand that there is a deeper meaning to your life. You came here to make things better, to provide value to the world. And until you feel like you're doing that, you're always going to feel uncomfortable. You're always going to feel triggered, especially by things that you never even noticed before. Things that don't serve you. Three, repetition. Gang stalkers will repeat the same things again and again. So you will experience the recurrence of certain actions or events because they're trying to program you. They're trying to prevent you from achieving something that they're never going to achieve. So they will repeat the same things again and again. Things that are different to what is usual or expected. Things that are strange, weird and sometimes funny but it won't always be done directly to you. Sometimes it will just be done in front of you and you won't always notice it, but eventually you will recognize the pattern of behavior. They will do the same things at certain times and you may not always be able to understand it because sometimes it may not mean anything to you. It may be something that's more important to them than it is to you. So at times you may overlook it. But even if you do, this group of gang stalkers will be reacting to it. And it will be doing something for them. It will be causing them to operate at the same time and rate. It will be causing them to have the same opinion about something. Because it's a team effort. They're working together in a cohesive fashion towards a common goal so they will emerge and suddenly reveal their opinions at the same time like they're on a mission they're undertaking a task that they consider to be a very important duty to the point where they become oblivious of anything else around them and they will all appear to act very similar in a way that they may be unlike how they normally are But there was a time when they didn't care about anything that you were doing. They were never concerned about it. It never bothered or interested them. But now they're acting in a way that they wouldn't normally act. Four. You recognize sudden and unexpected pauses. You may be experiencing a lot of gang stalking activity but then all of a sudden it will all come to an abrupt stop and it will happen in a planned way at exact times and this may irritate you as well because you know that it isn't real. You know that it's only a matter of time until it comes back and you're just waiting for the other shoe to drop. So they put themselves in a hole that they can't get out of. Because while at times they may want to give you a moment of peace and tranquility just so they can hype you up and then pull you back down again. But that is a result they're never going to get. Because by this point you've learned to always wait for something inevitable. You're waiting for it to be taken away from you or for it to be destroyed. So you're never going to experience a moment of complete satisfaction as long as you're around them. You're always going to be waiting for the other shoe to drop. You're always going to be waiting for something else to happen, which puts them at a huge disadvantage and it makes it very difficult for them to control you. But they will still try to make you as nervous, worried and irritated as possible 
just so they can pull away and leave you by yourself so that they can feel like it's all on you and you have these issues which have nothing to do with them because they never look back at their actions which cause you to behave in certain ways instead they put the onus on you which also puts them at a huge disadvantage because many of you will take it upon yourselves to clean up their mess and by doing that you're taking your power back again Five, they will pose as someone they're not. They will take on a false identity. They may even try to impersonate someone else and they will do this to mislead you. To make you believe they're about something they're actually not. And it will seem very suspicious because it will be something that you experience a lot more than you ever did before. So it'll cause you to have the idea that there's someone questionable, dishonest or dangerous. As though they tailor made this character just to get your attention without showing you who they really are. Because they already know you don't want to see that. If they expose themselves from the very beginning you would run a mile and they know it. So they have no choice but to create this character and randomly approach you in person or follow you on social media because what they really want is to be able to talk to you in a way as if you don't know them they want to recreate a first impression that moment when you first form a mental image of a person because they understand that it's very powerful But by doing that it actually sets them up for failure because it's also what initiates the inevitable ghosting or discard they can't be around you for long periods of time because they know that time will expose them time will reveal to you exactly who you are and then you'll end up being the one who rejects them which is the last thing they want nothing hurts these people more than rejection which is why they set it up in a way where you can't reject them because they're always watching you they're always spying on you and there's very little you can do about it which is exactly what they want because they understand that they have no choice but to force you they have to make you participate in it against your will Because they already know that given the choice you would reject it and you would go your own way. Which really is the whole purpose of a gang stalking. It's to make you do something you don't want to do. They mistreat you because you don't want them. You don't support their ideas or ideals. So whenever you feel compelled to do things that you wouldn't normally do, that is a clear sign that you are being gang stalked. And when that happens, you just need to take a step back to examine the situation. And then ask yourself what it is that you really want. Because only you have the answer to that. No one else can tell you. Although they can try. But you need to figure things out on your own. Because that is the only way that you will become the person that you're supposed to be. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you could donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You could book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.